impact work that we do in, in Tantra in terms of um, helping people release um, the blockages that they have in their sacral root uh, chakra. So this is where the life force energy is. And the majority of people are blocked in this area because of the universal scripts that we've been fed culturally mm -hmm. about our sexuality. Yeah, and that actually, you know, that that brings me to my next question. What do you think uh, causes couples to begin to distance from each other? Sure. So, of course, there are the obvious reasons uh, related mm -hmm. to stress of life, work, having children. Um, these are all reasons. You know, you you meet somebody in the beginning, and it's it's um, you know, there's the uh, initial passion and sparks and romance and you know um but at a certain point for for most couples that will uh die down mm -hmm. um and i think part of the reason um a kind of on a deeper level aside from the obvious reasons that i mentioned that couples begin to distance is because of the universal scripts that are existing today about sex. So what we were taught about sex or not taught about sex, really. Um, you know, the sex education today, so many teenagers um, are taught about sex through porno, porno oh, which is, yeah, couldn't exactly. be more, more yeah. off in terms of uh, if you want to create a healthy, intimate, mm -hmm. healing sexual encounter pretty much you want to do the opposite of what people are watching on TV. Right, exactly. So uh, our beliefs about sexuality, the stigmas, the shaming, uh, the guilt, um, these are all things that severely inhibit our ability to connect with our partner on a, in a deep and loving way. Um, and, and, this, and this over time, of course, will, will create distance. Um, but there are a lot of things that people don't understand about their own sexuality, about their own um, sexual bodies. Um, for example, men actually have the ability to separate between ejaculation mm -hmm. and orgasm. Most men don't know that. Hmm. Yes, it's pretty fascinating. Men, men can actually have a full body female orgasm without ejaculation. Interesting. Now, yes. So when, when men start to practice um, separating these two things, the entire sexual encounter between uh, men and women changes because they're not seeking instant gratification. When a male is having sex with his woman and he's seeking instant gratification in the form of ejaculation, mm -hmm. she ends up feeling unsatisfied, uh, unloved. And of, of course, also in, in many situations, she's unable to reach orgasm because the male will ejaculate very quickly. So there's there's just in terms of even I'm not even speaking yeah. about, you know, the, the energy yeah. behind it. This is just um, human biology, which people aren't even aware of. Yeah, I mean, it's it's and it's fascinating. Um, yes. And so when you well, a sexual relationship is such a sensitive and highly personal aspect to a couple's relationship. And a lot of, and I know this is a question a lot of people would ask is, well, how do you begin a session? Like if you had a couple coming to you, it's very, I mean, and one of the couples may not be really wanting to be there and the other couple really wants to be there. Um, <laughs> so how do you begin a session? Yeah. So, so usually when we have couples come to us, of course, there's the one who calls um, and, and set up the, the appointment and the other one who was quote unquote dragged. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they feel that way. Yeah. Um, and that's completely normal. And the way that we like to open up uh, these sessions is by asking the one who was quote unquote dragged to the session, what do they want to get out of the experience? That really helps break the ice because even if there's one person who essentially was the uh, initiator, 
the other person who who was there is there for a reason. They decided to show up. So um, we like to hear from from them. Of course, we hear from both, but um, but that usually gives us uh, a good indication of of uh, of of where things are. Is just through you know through talking through through communicating, um, and the more communicative and the more uh, open people are willing to be in sessions with us, the mm-hmm. more ability we have to actually help them. Wow. And, and so what is your future goal for Divine Couples? So we are working now on developing uh, workshops for couples, uh, mm-hmm. some locally in the Miami area, but we are also interested in developing workshops abroad. Um, wow. That is, yes, that is uh, a vision that we that we both have. Uh, we want to bring couples abroad for kind of immersion, uh, five day uh, vacation workshops where couples can really dive into um, their own sexuality with wow. themselves and, wow. of course, with each other, um, and really, really have a transformative. Uh, experience that they can take home um, and really, really benefit from. Wow, that's a that's great. That's a great uh, that's a great future goal. <laughs> Thank, you. Uh, um, Thank you, Naomi. Are there any rituals um, a person might begin to incorporate to bring balance and healing back to to their relationships? Yes, this is a perfect question because this is something that we talk about. Um, after every couple's session Mm. is incorporating a weekly date into your schedule. As you would schedule a meeting, a work meeting, it's the same. You have to put it in your calendar. Uh, it's, It's a commitment that you have to yourself and to your partner that essentially says my relationship with you, my sexual relationship with you is something that I'm prioritizing. And you should do it when you're not tired preferably, you know, in the morning if you can, or sometime in the afternoon, but I don't recommend Mm -hmm. nighttime because most Mm -hmm. people just don't have the energy for it. They're tired. Um, But yes, people are too tired. Um, But it's really setting aside two hours um, for a tantric date. And of course, we give people uh, tools uh, to to know what that means and how how you can set it up. Um, but it's, you know, lighting candles, it's turning on music, uh, it's creating a nice smell, a nice, a nice atmosphere. Um, and once you have a bit more knowledge in terms of what Tantra is and what the Tantric tools are, then um, you'll have a better idea of how to put together a Tantric date. Uh, and this is something that we also teach people in our private sessions. That's a wonderful, uh, that's a wonderful thing to think of that you're actually having a, it's date night. Yes. <laughs> date night, but so yes. much more. <laughs> just but date so night, much more, right? But so much more. It's, it's, it's really, it's a, it's an incredible um, opportunity for healing. Mm, yeah. For healing. Yeah. And so many of us need it. We all do. We yeah. all do. I mean, I don't know anybody who actually doesn't. Um, and it, it take, it's a lot of work to be in a relationship or to be in, you know, it, um, and, and have a partner. Um, because sometimes we do fall off the wagon, to say. Mm-hmm. Um, Absolutely. Uh, and, and you get back on. And, um, and I, it is a lot of work. And it's, um, but I think... You know, you're, you're, the advice you're giving us is so valuable. And um, and I have to let our listeners know that um, Naomi is also going to be um, having another podcast with us. Um, and it's going to, uh, we're going to be talking about women in general. And um, so she is coming back. And I just want to say thank you once again for taking the time to oh, be here. Oh, thank you so Naomi much. On Yin Yoga Thank Life. you, Colette. Welcome, sweetie. And if it's you would my like, pleasure. if you would like more information about Divine Couples, you can visit www.divine and there's a hyphen, c o u p l e s divinecouples.com, or visit fa- Facebook at Divine Couples Tantra T A N T R A, 
And many thanks again, Naomi. Um, we're going to speak Thank with you, you soon. And thanks for being on Yin Yoga Lifestyle. Um, thanks so much for having me. You're welcome, sweetie. And please don't forget to check us out at yinyogalifestyle.com, adding enlightenment, calm, balance, and creativity to your everyday life. Thank you for joining Yin Yoga Lifestyle. I am your host, Colette Darville. Join us next time to continue our journey of balancing into a state of perfect harmony. Until then, this is Colette Darville reminding you to inhale so and exhale hum.